According to Manchester Fire, since April 20th, there have been 65 reported overdoses, five deadly. Which is a big spike. Chief Dan Goonan says at times the department is responding to four or five overdoses in the span of an hour. You know, looking at some of our numbers, it seems like after 6 p.m. is is uh, prime time for overdoses. Despite juggling regular calls with overdose calls, Goonan says the department still has a steady staffing level. We maintain our staff at, at, uh, at 46, so um, that's pretty constant. Um, we don't uh, we don't staff up for those times. We just know that you know. Based on a little bit of history, we know it's going to be pretty busy. The amount of Narcan needed to revive overdose patients is also on the rise. You know, we were averaging maybe three to four uh, milligrams per patient, and uh, these patients are taking upwards of, you know, eight to ten at times. So that's, that's very unusual. As for what exactly may be behind the numbers, Mayor Ted Gatza says he has an idea. There's a drug on the street, carfentanil, that's uh, certainly put that surge in. The mayor says the city is taking the epidemic seriously, and through programs like Safe Stations, it continues to provide the help to those who need it. There's no question that the, the doors of the fire stations are open, and they're helping an awful lot of people. And now these overdoses are really coming in waves. Just on Tuesday, Manchester police responded to one in which four people overdosed in a vehicle. They were taken to Catholic Medical Center, then later revived by Narcan. Well, live here in Manchester, I'm Tim Callery, WMUR News 9.